welcome to class students in today's class we are going to discuss generate blocks in verilog generate blocks generate statements allow verilog code to be generated dynamically at elaboration time before the simulation begins this facilitates the creation of parameterized models generate statements are particularly convenient when the same operation or module instance is repeated for multiple bits of a vector or when certain verilog code is conditionally included based on parameter definitions generate statements allow control over the declaration of variables functions and tasks as well as control over instantiation all generate instantiation are coded with the module scope and require the keywords generate and end generate generated declarations and instantiations can be conditionally instantiated into a design generated variable declarations and instantiations can be multiply instantiated into a design generated instances have unique identifier names and can be referenced hierarchically to support interaction between structural elements and or procedural blocks generate statements permit the following verilog data types to be declared within the generate scope we can define within the generate net register integer real time real time and event generated data types have unique identifier names and can be referenced hierarchically generated instantiations can be one or more of the following types you can generate modules user defined primitives verilog gate primitives continuous assignments initial and always block so you need to, you can generate these things by using instantiation generated instantiations we'll see in example further how it is done some module declarations and module items are not permitted in the generate statement they include parameters local parameters input output in out declarations specify blocks these these are not generated in instances connections to generated module instances are handled in the same way as with normal module instances there are three methods to create generate statements generate loop generate conditional generate case statement we'll see a generate loop statement this permits one or more of the following to be instantiated multiple times using a for loop variable declarations modules user defined primitives gate primitives continuous assignments initial and always blocks the module generates a bitwise xor of 2 n bit buses module bitwise xor out i0 i1 parameter n equal to 32 output 31 colon 0 out input 31 colon 0 means 32 bit input and output you are defining so n you have defined 32 n minus 1 down to 0 means 31 down to 0 output size is also 30 bit inputs i0 and i1 size is also 32 bit declare a temporary loop variable this variable used only in the evaluation of generate blocks this variable does not exist during the simulation of a verilog design so gen generate variable g e n v a r generate variable you are defining it as j 
So here you are defining n as 32 output and inputs. So you are defined as a vector. So 32 different bits or multiple width input and output bits. Now within the generate loop it begins with generate loop syntax begins with a generate keyword then for a for loop syntax we are using generate for the syntax is almost similar to for loop initialization j equal to 0 variable we are defined gen where j less than n n we have defined as 32 so j initialized to 0 less than 32 j equal to j plus 1 j equal to j plus 1 that is each time you are implementing by 1 begin xor loop so you are giving name for this generate statement as xor loop this generate prior statement is identified as xor loop so this is optional xor loop xor g1 out output you are writing first out of j i0 I of j i1 of j so this particular loop repeats for 32 different times each time you can observe inputs are changing inputs we have defined as i0 and i1 each time as j index changes for the first time the index i0 of 0 and i1 of 0 are input for xor gate and output is out of 0 for the second iteration it will generate one more xor gate so like this it goes on generating sit uh, till i0 of 31 i1 of 31 out of 31 so total out 0 to out 31 that is 32 different XOR gates are generated by this generate statement. This is an example where you are generating 32 different XOR gates and here you can observe that we have used a structural or gate level primitive where XOR gate is generated 32 different XOR gates are generated by this particular block of code. Instead of writing 32 different assignments with single assignment and a for loop, we can able to generate a repetitive element. What is changing is, so you can observe that input and output declarations with index. So these are changing and here we have used a gate level primitive. In the same example, in the same example, if you can replace replace a generate statement if you can uh, you can replace a generate statement with the help of always and assignment statements so always and assignment statement what we have to observe here is a generate for loop syntax is same size is also say 32 bit only n is 32 bits 31 down to 0 so here you can able to generate 32 different xor gates how you are generating by using always and this assignment statement so when this generate is unfolded generate statement is unfolded so it is as good as you are writing 32 different statements or 32 different always blocks in each always block uh, or particular statement which performs XOR operation. So what we can conclude within generate we can write always initial within always we can write assignment statements within always we can write gate level primitives also. Those are allowed and those can be generated multiple times based on the syntax that we are using. In this case we are using generate loop statement and the syntax is somewhat similar to a for loop. Prior to the beginning of the simulation, the simulator elaborates, unrolls, elaborates means unrolls. So here 
uh, how many statements uh, so this particular loop repeats for 32 different times uh, 32 different times means uh, each uh, 32 different always statements are generated each with i not of 0 or i1 of 0 second time i not of 1 or i1 of 1 like that so on up to i not of 31 or i1 of 31 like that so elaboration means unrolls the code in the generate block blocks to create a flat representation without the generate block first step is this generate statement unrolls the code so based on the logic written it unrolls the code in this example 32 different always statements are written in each always statement there is an XOR operation the unrolled code is then simulated the unrolled code is then simulated so how the simulation is done first step is elaboration and then unrolled code is simulated thus generate blocks are simply a convenient way of replacing multiple repetitive very log statements with a single statement inside a loop this is very important I'll repeat it. Generate blocks are simply a convenient way of replacing multiple repetitive Verilog statements with a single statement inside a loop. Generate variable is a keyword used to declare variables that are used only in the evaluation of generate block. Generate variables do not exist during simulation of the design. The value of generate variable can be defined only by generate loop. Generate loops can be nested. However, two generate loops using the same generate variable as an index variable cannot be nested. The name XOR loop assigned to generate loop is used for hierarchical name referencing, so it becomes mandatory a label that we are giving for generate statement here you can observe for generate we are given xor loop so for the first time xor loop of 0 then second iteration xor loop of 1 so I have for hierarchical name referencing this is useful loop of 0 loop 1 then dot g1 g1 refers to xor gate so all those 32 different xor gates generated they are used or accessed <coughs> by hierarchical name referencing hierarchical means xor loop and within which you are using xor gate dot g1 generated ripple carrier we'll see in next example here using generate statement we are in uh, creating a 4 bit ripple carry adder we can observe uh, a0 a1 a0 a1 are the inputs a0 a1 carry in or ci is a input ci or c in is a input so three inputs a a0 a1 ci output sum and c out so this uh, C out refers to final sum and this one refers to carry in first stage which we are referring it as carry 0. I have shown a diagrammatic representation only two blocks one bit full adders. This depends on n size. If n is 8 then it acts as 8 bit ripple carry adder. If n is 32, 32 different full adders are generated. If n is 4 in this example so 4 full adders are generated. We will see how n parameter n4 we have defined output size is 3 down to 0 that is n minus 1 n minus 1 means 3 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 means some size is some size is 4 some 0 some 1 some 2 and some 3 so 4 outputs are generated final carry out we are referring it as c0 input size is also a0 a1 size is also 4 bit 
3 down to 0 input size is ci input size is ci carry in. wire n minus 1 colon 0 carry n minus 1 means at again 3 colon 0 carry also this carry 0 carry 1 carry 2 like that carry 3 and initial carry carry 0 we are assigning c in or c i in this example we are named it as carry in as c i so c i is assigned to carry 0 here actually I have represented as c n you have to read it as c i generate variable i so within generates statement we can use this variable so this is initial declaration part now if you see generate for i equal to 0 i less than n i equal to i plus 1 begin the name given for this loop generate loop is r underscore loop and the wires that we are using within a generate statement those need to be defined t1 t2 and t3 you can observe this is ci carry 0 is assigned with ci and here you can observe t1 this is t1 first and gate output we are referring it as t2 so this is t2 where e0 and e1 are connected then this output <coughs> we are referring it as t3 so t1 t2 and t3 are intermediate outputs which are acting as input for next gates so these need to be defined as t1 t2 t3 are defined as wire within a generate flow wire within a generate flow then two xor gates this will perform some so a a not xor a1 xor carry 0 or ci this will produce sum so this is equivalent to a not of 0 xor with a1 of 0 xor with ci ci or you can write carry of 0 so this xor operation is nothing but you are producing a sum then by using these three statements two and gates and one xor gate you are generating a carry out so in this case it is carry one only if you refer first block only if you refer this block so uh, this particular block can generate uh, the carry out carry 0 is input carry 1 is output so here a0 and a1 perform and and that output is t2 here a0 and a1 are connected and the output is t2 then t3 is generated based on so t1 and ci based on t1 and carry 0 so t3 will be generated then our operation of t2 and t3 will give you carry operation carry 1 final carry i plus 1 for 0th iteration it is carry 1 okay so for, for from first iteration we can able to generate sum and carry for second iteration again it generates uh, that uh, two xor gates two and gates and one or gate it generates for third iteration one more full adder 
to generate one more full ladder again 2x 